Hi there, Coach Adrian here, and this is my review of the ADV Jetpack Tennis Bag. Uh, this is not a sponsored video, although I am an affiliate and I use that affiliate link to get a discount on this. So I got this for $200 with my own funds. Normally it costs $250 without that affiliate link. And so, um, what are my thoughts on the ADV bag? Well, uh, my general thoughts, it's a good bag. I've been using this for at least two months now. Um, and, you know, I'll give you the positive first. I like its portability. And so I have to travel about, I don't know, say 50 yards or so from the parking lot and a little steep incline to the tennis court. So I have to carry all my stuff here and it's a good, decent walk uh, to the tennis courts. And I'm very comfortable with uh, carrying this bag versus my previous bag, which is, was a, a Prince a nine racket bag. Usually those kind of bags are very loose fitting and uh, it kind of just uh, kind of just wiggles around a lot. There's no real great weight distribution. And so this is very good uh, rate distribution, very good portable. It's very compact feeling. And um, I like it. It's, it's a really good bag as far as just carrying it anywhere walking with it anywhere um, also has a lot of good pockets um, a lot of good side pockets here and there uh, you could fit your phone your um, tennis balls clothes um, all that stuff so you could watch other videos regarding all the pockets that it has it has really good um, you know decent amount of pockets and this cooler thing up top here which is really good you could put in your drinks here and other stuff and so also, I was actually a little surprised about this, but um, it is a very durable bag. Um, at first, I thought it was a little flimsy feeling, but after two months of carrying this around and just kind of putting it, um, I have this on the chair right now, but I, I, I kind of uh, just drop it on the ground on the tennis court like this. And I do that every time pretty much. And uh, it's, so far it's pretty durable. And I don't think it's going to uh, rip or break, although it's pretty faded already. So as you can see here, um, the bottom part where I, I put down the bag here, it's pretty faded, um, but I don't think it's gonna rip up. I think it's pretty durable here. And um, there's some padding, there's some padding uh, underneath it. And so if I am just dropping this bag a lot for the next maybe year or so, I don't think it's going to rip up versus my Prince bag, which actually kind of ripped up a little bit. Um, that's why I had to get a new bag. I really wanted something durable. And so this is a good bag as far as durability. We'll see after about a year or maybe two years or so how durable it is. Um, you know, I'm not super rough with it or anything, but um, I think for the most part, it is a durable bag and um, I'm glad that it is. So what are the negatives of this bag? Um, and there's there may be some deal breakers here for you guys. Um, and one of the pretty much the close deal breaker for me was the pocket, the tennis racket pockets. And so um, the tennis racket pockets itself, uh, you know, it, it can only fit two rackets, it can only fit two rackets and it's still a tight fit. Um, on each pocket. So there's two tennis racket pockets and only two each. If you put in, you could probably put in three, but it's super tight, you don't wanna do that. But even two rackets, it's tight. And so if you have a lot of stuff in your bag here, um, it doesn't actually have to be too much stuff. I don't have too much stuff in my bag. I have some clothes, some, you know, ca my camera here, drinks and everything. I still have to, if I want to get my two rackets in, I still have to push push in the stuff that I have in the middle here just to get my two rackets in. And so it's pretty, you know, that's it's kind of very inconvenient for me. So when I put it in here, you know, usually when I put in my racket, I'm done with tennis or whatever. I just put it in, right? Punch it in and I zip it up. But what happens is you know, you, you really have to kind of go close it up. There might be, you need to push it in, push the stuff in, and then you can close it up. It doesn't close right away. Um, you know, so 
it's tough to get two rackets in um, right away. You just want to put it in, right? And then zip it up. But you might need to just push some stuff in to get the two rackets in the bag. And that could be a deal breaker. That could be a little inconvenient. And um, I was thinking about it. And uh, can I deal with that um, for another year? Just kind of pushing it in. Um, I will. I will. I'm going to keep this bag. But um, it's something that uh, annoys me a lot. Um, there is another pocket that I have for the, the tennis tennis racket pocket and I actually use that to put in my tripod You know, I, I do obviously a lot of YouTube stuff and my QM mount here and it does fit there but you know the thing is I can't put a third racket in and uh, my other prints a tennis bag um, I could put my uh, three rackets in there I could put four or five rackets actually and still put in my uh, tripod and all that stuff in there here. I, I can't put a third racket in so if uh, you know I, If I break my strings both my strings on my racket, um, I'd, I'd have to go to the car uh, To get my third spare and that's something that uh, Also inconvenient, but it rarely happens. It rarely happens that I break a string two strings um, at a time So it's not It's not a deal breaker for me but it, very close to it, very close to that um, me just returning it because of that. Also, um, I, I mentioned that it is very portable. I, I like the portability of this bag, very compact and you know, a good tight fit around my back. But these back straps are kind of flimsy. They're almost cheap feeling. So I have a $30, $35 uh, Copac bag that I bought at Amazon and that is a more comfortable fitting um, backpack uh, has more padding on it. This has some padding, but it's again, it's very paper like and it's kind of it's a little tough. It's not again. Um, I want to say it's annoying, but I wish it was a little bit. There's a little bit more padding. So if I was walking with this for a long time, say, I, you know, walking, I don't know, a mile, you know, it, it would definitely hurt on my shoulders. Um, but uh, I don't walk with it for an extended period of time, just walking from the parking lot to the tennis courts. Um, that's fine, but uh, you know, carrying a heavy bag with these kind of back straps, um, if, you're, if you're a person that tends to walk with your bag, if you need to get it, you know, walk from your house to the tennis courts or you're biking with your bag, this may feel not so good. And so, yes, it is portable. I like the portability of it, but for an extended period of time, these back straps um, are just not going to cut it. I wish there was more padding on it. Also, the final and probably the biggest drawback of this bag is that it's too expensive. It's $250 and I had to get an affiliate link to get uh, or become an affiliate to get a discount on it. And would I buy this for $250? Um, I don't know. I was a little desperate actually to get a new tennis bag because my uh, Prince tennis bag kind of ripped up, got, kind of got worn out. Um, it wasn't it wasn't as durable as I thought it would be. Again, I'm not super rough with my bag. I do put it on the ground. I just kind of leave it on the ground like this. I try to plop it up on the chair now or on a bench, but. Um, you know, I, I, I'll just plop it on the ground. And that's probably why it ripped up a little bit. And I wish it was a little bit more durable, that my prints bag, because I like it, I like the color. I like prints, uh, my brackets are prints. And so I was desperate really to find a really good bag, a very premium bag, durable, um, portable, and uh, something where I could put my rackets on all my stuff and my, my tripods all my tripods and my camera stuff in it all in one. And so I went with it. I went with it. Um, I, I, you know, the, this is the most expensive tennis bag there is on the market. And at the same time, I don't have time to shop around for every bag. So there may be a better bag or uh, that's maybe a little bit like 150 or so, but I, I just don't have time to uh, shop around. And so um, that is the biggest drawback. The, the selling price and on um, that is why I can't I can't recommend it I can't recommend it to maybe a student a player uh, 
you know, it, it's tough to recommend something that is so costly. If it's that costly, it needs to be just a perfect bag. It's the most expensive bag uh, there is, and it has to be perfect. It has to be um, something that is just, you know, the, the value should be there and everything about it uh, should be very good. But it's not, it's not. The, the tennis pockets, the price, look, these back straps here, they're not at a premium level. So I can't quite recommend it, but I will keep it. I will keep it, I won't return it, simply because I have no time to shop. Um, this is good enough. Um, I spent the money and I'm not gonna go and try to shop on it for another bag because I just don't have that time. If this bag is just working for me for another year, then um, that's good, that's great. I don't wanna uh, have to purchase another bag. And I think it'll work out. I think this bag will work out as far as the durability. I think this could last at least two years, um, maybe even three years. Uh, it, it seems pretty durable on the outside, uh, on the bottom, and I don't think it's gonna rip up apart. It may get worn out a little bit here and there, but I think it's pretty good. And that's kind of why I, want, I, I wanted to test and check out this bag. So, is the ADV bag pretty good? Uh, yes, it's a good bag, um, but it's really up to you if you think it's worth the money. And so I went with it and I, I've kept it. Um, I don't know about you. Um, that is, is a very subjective thing. So with, uh, in regards to the value and, and your own money. So that's my review of the ADV Jetpack Tennis Bag. Hope you enjoyed it. And let me know in the comments if you have any questions or comments about this bag. If you enjoyed this video, kindly do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.